Good morning. Good morning, good morning. How's everyone doing? It's Wednesday. It is midweek. <laughs> How's everybody doing this morning? Oh, we have a, um, we started out with beautiful sunshine this morning up here in Connecticut. And I think we're going to be getting some rain. It is going to actually be warm today. Like, um, warm and I believe if I'm not mistaken, um, also muggy, <laughs> which I'm okay with that anyway. And I don't have really have anything planned as far as going anywhere today. I don't think, I don't think um, I have any errands or anything that I need to do. So, but anyway, so it's all good if it rains. We need the rain though, right? We need the rain. My husband planted some, um, oh my gosh, what are they called? Um, I want to say hawks, and I may be wrong. <laughs> I'm not even positive on what it's called. Um, they are flowers that just like spread, and they're really, um, they're, they have like, a, they, they come in bunches, and they're small petals, um, and we have like a side in our front yard um, from our house, there's like a little bit of a hill. And I've always said that that would be perfect to put those in, to put those, to plant those there, because it would just like be beautiful when it's blooming and all filled there in that spot. So he did buy some this year and he planted them yesterday. So I'm so excited about that. So I can't wait to see how it's just going to spread through the years and how beautiful it's going to look. He only bought, actually, as a matter of fact, he only bought this color of like a, a fuchsia pink. Um, I want to get like maybe some white ones or purple ones as well to kind of, you know, have like a, a variety of them. That would be so pretty, wouldn't it? Yes, it would. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> so I decided to come live with you guys here on Facebook instead of going through StreamYard this morning because of the fact that I don't have great internet service up here in northwest corner of Connecticut. And my um, StreamYard just... You know, it freezes on me every once in a while. So I figured I would join you here, straight here. So I hope you grabbed your cup of coffee or tea to join me. And I'm just going to start us off with a prayer. And if you're on with me, please say hello. Please say hello. Um, I'll start us off with a prayer and then I have a story to share with you as to why we're going to be talking about the Lord being our faithful companion. Heavenly Father, good morning, Lord. Good morning, good morning. Thank you, Jesus, for one more day that we get to spend with one another with your new mercies, your grace and love that is new every day, Lord, and every morning. And we get to start fresh every morning, Lord, and thank you for that. Thank you that we get to spend time here in your presence, Lord, and in your word, Father. Oh, Father, thank you that we are your called out people. Thank you that we are your ecclesia. Yes, Father. Thank you for that reminder this morning, Lord, that we are the body of your faithful people and that we are one. Thank you, Lord, for reminding me also that, that you are our faithful companion, and that things will run smoothly or a lot smoother if we come to you, Father, with everything with everything that we do to walk with us, to guide us, to plan with us, to give us direction and protection, that if we seek you, Lord, that things would just operate a lot more smoother <laughs> than if we do it on our own, Lord. And thank you for that reminder. And then, Lord, I ask for many blessings on anyone that is watching and anyone that will be watching, Father, blessings on their lives and their families to keep them safe and under your protection, Lord, and to keep them reminded as well, Father, that you are their faithful companion, Lord, through it all. In the name of Jesus, amen and amen. Amen. Good morning. Bon dia, Joanna. <laughs> okay, so... <clears throat> I, good morning, Rachel. Good morning. 
I'm actually on Facebook Live, so I can see who is jumping on with me. <laughs> I'm not on StreamYard this morning. So yes, I see you, Rachel. So I'm going to start off with um, Joshua 1.9. Um, and I wanted to, that's right, I wanted to share a story with you, but I'll share it throughout, you know, when I start reading. <clears throat> there is a story I wanted to share with you as to why um, God gave me this reminder this morning. So um, Joshua 1, 9, if you'd like to join me, that says, this is my command to be strong and courageous. Do not be afraid of, or discouraged for the Lord your God is with you wherever you go. And you can pick up so many wonderful nuggets from this particular scripture, right? Um, just the fact that, again, be strong and courageous. And do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Our Father is with us wherever we go. And all we have to do is call out boldly to him. And isn't that beautiful? And then um, in my studies this morning, I just love how God, <laughs> I love how he ties things together. I love it. Because uh, this morning as I was doing my, my Bible study of Ephesians, he also reminded me of um, of how it can tie in with you know with what he's been reminding me of throughout the entire week. <clears throat> but Ephesians three, if you'd like to join me, verses eleven and twelve. Again, that's Ephesians three, verses eleven and twelve. That says, and I'm going to read from the Amplified version. This is in accordance with the terms of the eternal purpose, which he carried out in Christ Jesus, our Lord, in whom we have boldness and confident access through faith in him. That is our faith that gives us sufficient courage to freely and openly approach God through Christ. Yes, to boldly and confidently approach God ourselves right? We don't need a priest to intercede for us. We don't need the Pope to intercede for us. We can boldly come to the Lord. We can boldly come to Christ whenever we need him in everything, in everything, right? In prayers and thanksgiving and everything. And that's a great reminder to us. It really is. And Romans 8, 28, that I want to read to you as well. Romans 8, 28, if you'd like to join me. And I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. And we know God, we know that God causes everything to work together for the good of those who love God and are called according to his purpose for them. Causes everything to work together. So the story I wanted to share with you, or at least not even so much a story, but just a testimony, you know, is, and this is probably something that happens to us on a daily basis that we don't even think about it. We don't think that it's a testimony and it is. You know, he's been reminding me that if you come to me, things will work a lot more smoother. And he's reminding me of that this week. You know, last week, at the beginning of the week, I was feeling a little overwhelmed and a little stressed out, just a little bit, <laughs> not like my usual. And, and it was because I had two very important and priorities, you know, projects that I needed to work on um, that are commission projects. And so I was stressing out a little bit because the deadline was like literally only a week apart. And I'm like, oh my gosh, am I gonna be able to do this? And um, so I was stressing out a little bit. And so, but the Lord, you know, just being still with him and just in prayer with him and asking him to guide me on a daily basis, asking him to guide me step by step through my projects. It's just been running so smooth. I'm definitely going to have time. I'm like already like way ahead of the ball game. I'm way ahead of way ahead of, of the deadline. Way ahead. And I'm so excited for that. But it's because I allowed the Holy Spirit to move me and to guide me. 
I came to him boldly and confidently, knowing that he would be there with me every step of the way. And he still is, and he will be, always. So yeah, I just had to share that with you guys. <laughs> so God's love letter to you and to me. Beloved daughter or son, I am with you wherever you go. I want you to be strong and courageous and have great faith in me. I am your faithful father who loves and adores you. I will never let you go. My greatest desire is that you would invite me to walk with you constantly. Many times you do not see me because you have not invited me into the center of your circumstances. I never meant for you to walk alone. You will need my protection and direction and guidance wherever you go. Seek me and you will see me in ways that you've never seen before. Every day, love your heavenly father. Amen and amen. Your life will operate more smoothly in the areas we have personally invited God. And that's so true. You can choose to walk on your own or let God walk with you. Mm. Awareness of God's presence gives us the power to move forward and to be strong and to be courageous and to be confident in what we are doing. We are his called out people. You know, when I was doing my, um, my Bible study this morning, when I was doing my book study of Ephesians this morning, the word mystery was coming up a lot in the scriptures. And, but in that case, it was talking about um, the mystery of the Jews and the Gentiles being one, you know, one, in the, one is, as the body of Christ, united with Christ. And then I started thinking as I was doing this devotion and I was reading it and preparing for you guys and, and how <laughs> there's no mystery. There is no mystery at all in how we can come to the Lord in everything. There's no mystery. He doesn't keep anything from us, right? He tells us that we can come to him boldly and confidently in prayer and calling out to him in need with anything, no matter how small or how big it is. It could be the tiniest little detail or something small that we need help with. Lord, help me with this. <laughs> what color should I choose, Father? What should I cook? What should I eat? Nothing is too big and nothing is too small for us to come boldly and confidently to him. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus, for that reminder. Good morning, Robin. Good morning. So good to see you here. Oh, guys, what a blessing that was to me. And I hope it was a blessing to you as well. So guys, go out there, go out there and be a blessing to someone else and show them too how they have a faithful companion that they can come to boldly anytime. Love you guys. And I will see you again tomorrow morning. Bye.